Hello Internet people, my name is Robert. So I'm here in Google Search Console and I will show you how to verify domain ownership via DNS records. And it doesn't matter if you use GoDaddy, WordPress, Namecheap, Shopify or any other provider, they all have similar steps. I'll leave a link to this page in the description. You need to have a Google account to access this. If you need one, you can create it even using your work email. So you don't need to use your personal Gmail or anything like that. Just click on the banner that you see on your screen's top right corner right now. It's a quick tutorial. So in my search console, I don't have any other websites on this account. If you do, just click on the new property in the drop down like this one here. Then you get two options, domain property on the left and URL prefix on the right. I would always go with the domain, Google also recommends this. But if you don't own the domain name or have access to the DNS settings of your domain name, then you might have to use the URL prefix. Also, if you want to have a separate Google search console for your main domain and a separate one for subdomains, then choose URL prefix. I have a tutorial on how to verify URL prefix property. Just click on the banner at the top right corner. Let's start by typing in the domain name you want to register. In my case, it will be flipstick.eu. And then click on continue. Now Google will present you with some instructions. If your domain name is with GoDaddy, it's super easy process. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So you choose GoDaddy and then start verification. I'm already logged into my GoDaddy and now it's just asking if, if uh, GoDaddy can connect to your search console. And if you approve that, it will do everything automatically. It's super easy. If you use this method, just jump to about four and a half minutes in this video and I'll talk about the rest. So for everybody else, you just can keep everything as is. So choose any DNS provider and then all of the rest you can keep. The only thing we need to do here is click on this copy and we're gonna copy this uh, TXT record. And now you need to go to your domain register. So wherever your domain has been registered. In this video, I'll show you how to do it in GoDaddy, Namecheap and cPanel, but the process is pretty much the same for all the domain registrars. Google also has this instruction page, which has the most popular domain registrars and web hosting providers. You can check out this link in the description. Now keep in mind, if you've registered your domain name, for example, with Namecheap, and then it's pointing to another uh, hosting provider like SiteGround, you need to go to SiteGround and change the DNS settings there because SiteGround is actually uh, has the control over your DNS settings. Shopify is an exception. In that case, if you bought a domain name from another registrar, you go to the registrar, not to Shopify. Since I'm in GoDaddy, all I have to do here is click on the name here at the top and then just choose my products. And then you should see domains. Maybe you have also hosting there. In GoDaddy, you have the DNS immediately here, but in most cases you need to click on manage. You just need to find DNS settings or manage DNS, something to do with DNS. And if I scroll down, I'm able to add a DNS record here. For the type, select TXT. For the name, just put the add sign and now paste the value we copied from search console in this field and the TTL you can keep as default. Then obviously just click on add record. In Namecheap, you just go to domain list and then you select the domain you wanna update. And here I click on manage and I go to advanced DNS. This is the tab. And now you can scroll down here and just add a new record. Again, we're gonna select TXT and as a host, it's at sign and value is the one that we got from Google Search Console. In cPanel, you just type in DNS. In my case, it's called Zone Editor, but it could be also something like DNS Management or something similar. Just click on that. Select the domain you want to change. So again, click on Manage. And now you can add a record here. You just press here. In this case, I'll just add my domain name. ETL, you can keep it as is, type, select TXT, and the record again, just paste the one that you got from Search Console, and then save the record. Okay, success, we've added this DNS record. It already warns here that it might take up to 48 hours. It rarely does it. Usually it's five to 10 minutes and you should see the results. So let me go back to the dashboard from Search Console. And in here you have this verify button. I would wait maybe three to five minutes and then you can click on it. 
By the way, appearing on Google search can be really frustrating and confusing when starting out a new website, especially because you don't know where to start. That's why I've compiled an SEO checklist so you know where to start and to get the basics right. You can grab it from my website. It's the first link in the video description. So I waited for about five minutes and let's click now on the verify button. As you can see, the ownership has been verified. If in your case, it's still red and not verified, don't worry, wait for a bit more and try to press the button again. Sometimes it may take up to 24 hours. Now, as you can see, there is no data available yet. This is normal and depending on your website traffic, in a few days or even weeks, you will start seeing some data here. But to register your website properly with Google and speed up the indexing process, you need to submit a sitemap in the search console. I will show you how to do that for WordPress in this video and for Shopify in this one right here.